Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again, and I'm back. I'm back at LA Comic Con 2019, baby. There's cosplayers, craziness, nerdiness all throughout this place. Let's head on in uh, to this convention and see what it has in store for us this year. Oh, okay, guys, who's the real Spider Man here? I am. Hey, 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 where's the real hey, 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 yeah, but My you identity's already revealed. You don't look like Tyler. Oh, 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 shit! Oh, shit! Just got to the Comic Con floor. Time to wander around. Holy shit! Holy shit! That's a huge cock! Oh my god! The cocks run it over! There's. How many cocks are gonna be in this convention? There's a cock over there. There's two cocks right here. There's cocks everywhere! Whoa! Uh oh! It's a, it's, a, it's a cock get together. It's a cock flock. It's a cock flock. That was weird. The first thing I see when I walk into the Comic Con floor is a bunch of cocks dancing together. I didn't know it was that kind of convention. Check this out where you can get at this convention right now. You can get some Golden Girl panties. Uh, I didn't know there was going to be a Choney's booth uh, at this convention. But if you want to get Jay and Silent Bob on your ass, you can. But if you also want to get those Golden Girls on your crotch, I guess you can also, but uh, a lot of cool different, uh, you know, designs for chonies like Willy Wonka, kind of, you know, chonies kind of thing. So cool. All, all different kinds if you want to get the devil on your ass. All right, guys, I almost forgot to t mention to you guys, there's something really cool going on at this convention that um, I won a contest for. And uh, I, won a, I won a contest to meet Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes. And... Uh, they're going to be having a little photo opportunity in front of something really kind of cool in a little while. But let me show you what that cool thing is. But guys, in just a little while, they're having some photo opportunities in front of the Quick Stop slash Cock Smoker. But well, this is like actual setup from the actual uh, Jay and Silent Bob reboot uh, that's going to be in theaters this Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, this, is, this, is actually, this is actually screen used shit from, that, from the new film. Uh, right here, you see Jason Mewes and Kevin right over there uh, doing their, you know, doing their thing in their, as cardboard cutouts. But in just a little while, man, in just a little while. I'm outside of the quick stop right now with a person that's not even supposed to be here today. What did I uh, tell you about dealing in front of the store? Man. Hey, that, that, that's, that's just what I do. You're going to uh, deal with it. You're not going to kick me out, right? Oh, uh, man. No, but bro, I'm so excited for you, at, for you being a part of this one. Of course, Clerks 2, Clerks, all, all the, you know, BOSQ stuff. Big, big fan of yours. And uh, is there anything about the new Jan Saw and Bob film you can tell us? Nope. Nothing? Nope, because I've signed a $3 million non-disclosure. So whatever Kevin's released, okay, me, I get sued. But you guys don't have long to wait. This Tuesday, the 15th, and Thursday, the 17th, is the release for Fandom Events. Mm -hmm. Fandom Events is having great two screenings. The first day, the 15th, is all Jay and Silent Bob, the new reboot. The second day, it's a double feature. You get to see the original, yeah, the new Jay and Silent Bob Strikes Back, with extra footage that was not released on the original, mm -hmm. and then the new one, the reboot. So go on out for that, FandomEvents.com. Otherwise, after that, you go to Reboot Roadshow, where in certain cities, 60-something, I believe, mm -hmm. you can go and see it with Kevin and Jay with a Q&A afterwards, that should last at least seven to ten hours of talking alone. Oh, of course, yeah. Are you going to be hitting up any of the road shows, like and tagging along with them? I have not been uh, given dates yet, but you never know. Yeah, you never know. But anything else you'd like to talk about on here like, that you're working on or would like to promote? Uh, the best way to find out what I'm working on is you go to my uh, Twitter or my uh, Instagram, which is Brian C. O'Holloran, the letter C is and Christopher Brian C. O'Holloran all together. Brian C. O'Holloran is the best way to do it on Twitter and or Instagram. Gives you all my updates and where I'm gonna be at. We're still wandering around and this is the only table so far that I saw that had physical media on it unless I missed it throughout the crowds. You know, Power Ranger seasons, Batman v Superman, Doctor Who, which I have never seen an episode of my life, but I, I'm always told by at least people at work and just different people sometimes in the comments that I should get up on that uh, sooner or later. But yeah, this is the only stuff I see physical media wise so far. Still over here at the convention and I didn't know that Nacho! Nacho! And, and Kale, we're, we're friends over here. I didn't know you guys. Of course, of course. That's Nickelodeon, but we've got to stick together, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I also saw you. You 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 popped up at that Good Burger pop up every once in a while, didn't you? Yeah, I worked there. Yeah, you did. But that's cool, girl. I didn't I didn't know you guys 
we're, we're chilling together. I think that's dope, man. But enjoy your con. Uh, I'll leave you guys alone. Bye, Nacho. Remember, I did. Don't ever be ashamed to wear a stretchy pants. Okay, I won't. And don't forget, welcome to Good Burger, home out the Good Burger. Can I take your order? <laughs> yeah. And check this out. I found out of print music soundtracks uh, that they have here at this convention from, you know, Buckaroo Banzai to the, the Last American Virgin. And they even have a soundtrack to Song of the South. If you guys know how hard that movie is to find on physical media, and they have the soundtrack to it here, the soundtrack's range it looks like anywhere between like twenty to like fifty dollars, sometimes sixty on some of these. Ferris Bueller's Day Off, bro, and Durant Cinema. Check this out. Have you ever seen the soundtrack to Terminator before? Well guys, I'm in line right now to meet Jay and Silent Bob, also known as Kevin Smith and Jason Muse. Uh, they're over there taking photo ops, and like I said, I was one of the contest winners, uh, you know, that they had one of 25, I believe, or 20, something like that. But uh, they're dressed up in their cosplay, like, they're dressed up as Jay and Silent Bob right now, how cool is that? Kevin Smith and Jason Muse in their own cosplay, man, from the new movie, Jay and Silent Bob Reboot right here outside of the quick stop baby those are not cosplayers that is them right there dude that is them right there how cool is that all right guys i'm out here with jason muse we're out here promoting jay and silent bob reboot in theaters on tuesday the 15th and the 17th right yes is there anything about it you can tell us no to get us all hyped up about it no this is the first time you've been out Watch here the trailer and you, that's enough that's all you need that's all you need that's all you need, but make sure you guys check them out, throw them some love. Jay's always the coolest, man. Follow me on Twitch, Jay Muse, J-A-Y-M-E-W-E-S, J-A-Y-M-E-W-E-S on Twitch. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm with my hetero life mate right here, Silent Bob, and we're here promoting Jay and Silent Bob reboot, man. Is there anything you can say about it? No. Oh, come on, bro. Like, I'm, I'm excited for it. I got my ticket. I'm ready to go. Let me tell you, it's the best movie I've ever seen. It is, man. And that's silent. It made the movie so good, it made Silent Bob speak. I just want to say, dude, thank you so much for the work you've done. It's one of those, it's, your work inspires mine to do what I do, brother. And I'm so happy about your weight loss, too, dude. So far, so good, man. Yeah, left, a, left a bit of me behind. This is so cool, dude. I'm here with you at the quick stop, bro. How cool Isn't that is amazing? that? That's the coolest thing ever. But make sure you guys check out Jay and Silent Bob reboot out in theaters Tuesday and Thursday. Thursday. Links in the description. Go to fathomevents.com right now. <laughs> check it out. He's what? So nice. I love this guy so much. How cool was that, man? I got a photo opportunity with Kevin Smith and Jason Muse in their costumes for Jay and Silent Bob. That was so sick, dude. And getting, of course, a couple seconds with them, uh, you know, on video for the, you know, for the YouTube vlog and stuff. I, I, I probably, you know, I, I get too excited and I kind of just over, you know, rush things in my mind when I'm saying stuff. But I also got this cool little, uh, you know, Chronicon, uh, you know, badge right here with Jay and Silent Bob on it. So if you see the new movie, you'll know, you know, what, what this is. But dude, I've always been a fan of Kevin and Jason, dude, for a very, very long time. And stuff like that is, is cool to me. You know what I mean? To have moments like that with them, so dope. Check out the cool merch that they have for Jay and Silent Bob Reboot. They have this like, exclusive t-shirt, I believe it's just for this convention. And they also have this cool movies uh, cap that you can buy over here. If you guys watch the Clerks films, you know, and stuff, you know exactly what that is. But that shirt, man, that shirt is pretty killer. Fuck, 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 mother, 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 Wet movie and donkey. We're not Jay and Tyler Bob. We're wet movie and donkey. Hey. <laughs> and check out this other killer cosplay they got going on. Can anyone watching this video know who this guy is? Am I able to see your face? Can I see your face? Hey, Wilson. Wilson. Yes. You have any advice for me? Always keep your tool shed sharp. <laughs> Thank you, Wilson. Dude, this is probably the coolest cosplay. I've seen all day only because I'm a nerd. But bro, we got Joe Dirt, bro. What? See my parents just call this number, and Brandy will take you in. Okay, okay. You got some mopping to do. 
Keep on, keep on, later brother. Nice mullet, you remind me of David Sterling. Excuse me, Joker. Joker, could I ask you a quick question, sir? Is Bat, is Bat, are, you related, are you related to Batman? All right. All right, just don't kill me, okay? Now this is kind of cool. The Joker wants to get a picture with, with the SpongeBob crew. Huh, yeah, I guess he really is happy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. But yeah, we just we just got done hanging out with like Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes for just a little bit. That was kind of cool. Very cool. I met Leonard Malton. We, I did too. Yeah. First time. I was actually more excited. I've met Kevin a few different times in my life. Yeah. But I, I was more excited to meet Leonard Malton. Yeah, that was so cool. The movie reviewer guy. Yeah. He, he him, and uh, Roger Ebert are like two of my favorite film critic reviewers. You know. I finally get a chance to look at my hair. I cut it the other day. Oh, okay, me too. Yeah, I didn't cut mine, but I'm just trying. But, um, to you know, we're in my living room. Yeah. For yeah, so. Here, want to show? Want to show me your new couch? So I decided I wanted to put the alphabet on the wall with some disco. Disco stuff. Disc type lights. Yeah. I just wanted to see what would happen. You know. Yeah, you never know. You never know. So. Bad thing. Bad things. Could, stranger things could happen. Well, guys, the convention's over, and now we're in downtown LA at the Globe Theater for the after party of uh, LA Comic Con. After the party at the hotel lobby, then after the lobby at the hotel party, then after the party at the probably this, but and the after the original it's probably this. But the thing is, I didn't even know that they they hold after parties uh, after LA Comic Con, but hey, we're gonna go in here. Yeah, this, this guy's VIP, very important wet movie. You know what some person called me inside there today in the convention? Mm -mm. You know, they, sometimes people say, wet movie. One guy's like, hey, wet back. Hey, I'm, like, wet back? I'm like, hey, asshole. Really? I'm like, that's a racist. And then he's just like, no, I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But it was, it was, it was kind of funny, though. It was kind of funny. I have a wet back a lot of times after I get out of the shower. Yeah. But let's head on into this party and see how it is. Now I'm in the globe down below the VIP uh, status right now, you know, through Michael and stuff and his friends. Uh, we got the VIP passes, uh, the party's happening upstairs, and I'm down here in the depths of uh, the globe, uh, you know, a music venue. If you guys have ever been here before, they hold, they hold a whole bunch of different venues here. There's like a lot of secret rooms, a lot of secret compartments that are not even being used right now, but like right back down here, it's like where uh, like the, the guests and stuff and performers like hang out and stuff like backstage. It's like all sorts of stuff going on uh, back here. You know, you never you never know who you might see uh, coming around the corner when it comes to these uh, you know after parties and things. Said we are going to bring out a couple special guests for a song that I know you know. Okay, so who was around in the early nineties like who used to watch Nickelodeon in the early 90s? Who watched Double Dare and who watched Hey Dude? And, and, okay, okay. Does anyone remember a little show that took place at a summer camp? <laughs> called Salute Your Shorts. Who remembers Salute Your Shorts? Come on, come on, come on. Seriously. I think it was like the best show of the early 90s on Nickelodeon. And we have... Two of the cast members here, and we're gonna do a little song for you guys to take you back down memory lane. We have Michael Ray Bauer who played Donkey Loops, and we have Venus De Milo Thompson who played Telly. Come on now, guys! Look at this. It's Yeah. 
part now. Get it right. Pay the price. Shit. Look at this. Enjoy your Thank life, you guys. guys. You guys are all beautiful. Enjoy Comic Con 2019. All right. Thank you, Michael. That was awesome. By the yeah, way, by the way, sexy. this is going to make you all feel really old. Who else thinks that was Next sexy? year, next year is there is the show's 30th anniversary. So like, oh my god. Well guys, we just got out of the Globe Theater. Mikey and his friend just got off the stage right now singing, you know, Camp on a Wanna Wanna. Yeah, yeah. We're doing the Thing Chong. Well, which was cool. So we had a we had a fun day going to the convention, coming on over to this after party. Meeting Kevin Schmidt hanging out with my good buddy again. Yeah man, even Brian O'Halloran and uh, Marilyn Gigliotti showed up to this thing. Rosario Dawson, he had a crush on her again. I saw I saw she, she wasn't here, but I saw her at the convention, which was cool. I thought I saw her here. But guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Give this, you know, give our channel a subscribe if you guys haven't yet. Check give out this channel a subscribe. I, I haven't done much lately, but this guy, yeah. good stuff, good stuff. Give this video a thumbs up and uh, tell me. Let me know in the comments. Are you going to be seeing the new Jay and Silent Bob reboot in theaters? But thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.